Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we're going to do a little bit of, I don't know. I do want to do this because there's achievements on it, but that's that's going to be like the last map we do, and I'm probably going to get somebody else to run it while I'm just in a server or something like that, and just closing my eyes, because I do need to do it eventually, you know? But not right now. Now let's do KF Verticality. I like KF Verticality. It's more of an endless map to me, really, but I do enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a bit of a lambs to the slaughter kind of map. It's a one lane defense, but you know, what's wrong? What, what's wrong with that, right? Nothing. That's what I have to say. So there's apparently like I don't know, some Um, please, please, just allow me to kill you. There's apparently some uh, collectibles on this map. I, I shot one once, but I do not remember where I shot it, and I have not found any of the others, so... Ooh, I'm like tilting here for some reason. I don't know why. Just shoot them in the face. Come on. I started off with the um, infinite ammunition perk on Gunslinger when I hit 25 the first time. So I was like, well, I, I first started off with this one, but you don't get the. Uh, it says you get to reload in full, like in real time, but you you reload slower than without it. In like, you don't get that instant reload, which I really, really love. Um, but at the same time, like, if you have full ammunition, then you're not going to actually get any benefit out of uh, shooting more because... Or, like, out of having more ammunition because it uh, the Z time just doesn't last long enough to go through 16 bullets when you're not shooting in, uh, in real time. So... I've, uh, I've moved to this perk, and I think that it is significantly better. I think that's the, uh, I think it's just objectively better. I don't think there's pretty much any situation where the, uh, where, um, the other perk would be better. Because it's just so much better to have, oh my god, get out of here. So much better to have um, the uh, the very fast reloads. Um, especially with reload canceling, which I've learned, right? Like it's no question, much better to have the uh, faster reloads. So that's what we've been going with, and it's been working pretty well for me. I'm not quite at the, the level of like some of the gunslingers I've seen on YouTube, but I am I am really enjoying this perk quite a lot. Uh, we're gonna be able to get the AF 2011s right off the bat. That's nice. I would love to get to that point eventually, but uh, it's gonna you know I've only got 150 hours in this. I'm not even prestiged. Like I just I don't have the same time investment that uh, that those guys have put in to be able to be that good at being uh, gunslingers but I am a pretty good gamer so yeah I really got to get better at shooting those guys now oh, they're too strong I don't like those raiders. Do not like them at all. Sucks when you miss a reload cancel though. Especially when you're in the middle of like a uh, like an actual important situation for it when you're getting like swarmed by flesh pounds or something like that and uh, you miss a reload cancel and then you die because you couldn't reload in time. And... That one sucks. <laughs> 
Doesn't happen often though, because honestly, reload canceling is not that hard with the uh, the M1911s or uh, Deagles or AF2011s or anything like that. Like it, it's honestly reasonably simple to do, so it doesn't really happen often. But it is very annoying when it does. Sometimes I get into like a uh, like this loop where I keep getting like tilted because I keep missing my reload cancels. But, you know, it's fine. Hey. I've been playing a lot of uh, Endless um, Corridor as well, with um, bosses being just uh, killed with a command. So I don't like having to fight the bosses every, like, few minutes, you know? It's not something that I personally find to be particularly enjoyable. I just like shooting, uh... Come on. I just like shooting, like, Zeds in the face, you know? I just want to get hordes of Zeds come flying at me and then shoot them all in the face. That's all I want. Sometimes, anyway. Sometimes I like fighting the bosses. I mean, that's what this series is about, really. But maybe because I do that so much that, uh... I don't know. It's just, uh, there's never anything different about it, you know? So uh, anyway, I've been playing a lot of uh, Corridor, and um, it's been teaching me how to handle the uh, the larger Zeds when I'm getting like surrounded by them. So I'm actually I'm not showing it right now, but uh, I'm actually quite a lot better at uh, head tracing the uh, the big Zeds now. I'm not sure if I could handle like six player Hell on Earth. That might be a little bit too much for me at this point, but. I think I'm uh, not too far off. This cat's back in the game. So I have beaten all of the bosses on Hell and Earth on this map as Gunslinger, so we're not definitely going to die. This is honestly one of the harder ones on this uh, map. I'd rather fight like the Matriarch. Um, just because, although I have been mostly playing this map on Hell and Earth anyway, so perhaps it's not that big a deal given we're on suicidal. My uh, my win rate on Hell on Earth is not high enough for me to want to move to it just yet, but that is what I'm playing primarily off camera these days. I still want wins on camera, right? Like that's, I feel like that's what's enjoyable is when you're watching somebody and they're losing constantly. Like that's not like fun content, right? Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe you guys enjoy watching me lose, but if we played Hell on Earth, it would be like a number of wins a week kind of thing, you know? It wouldn't be like, on average, we're going to win every round. It would be, you know, we're usually going to lose, but uh, some rounds are going to be uh, wins, whereas now it's kind of the opposite, where we're usually going to win, and sometimes we'll lose. And I want to get it to that point on Hell on Earth before we start moving up to it. But I feel like we're pretty close to it, honestly. So I'm doing a lot better now. This was a short episode, probably because of the verticality map. Um, yeah. I really got to kill a minute for the ads, but I don't get ads anyway. So that's going to do it for today. Um, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't like a nine-minute episode, though. Can we do something fun? Not really. No. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything else to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.